are so many things I want to show you. I keep seeing things to show you and thinking about things to show you and I have to show you later. Oh look, these are some little gardens. They have gardens alongside the, ro the, the canal. No, we can't see them anymore. Did you see them? Did you see them before they turned off? You can buy, you can buy a little piece of land um, for, um, Josette told me, for 300 euros. And for 500 euros a year, you, uh, you it sort of pays for the community. And you can build a house on it, but it cannot be your primary residence. It has to be a secondary residence. And then, um, and in Holland, you have to register where you live. There's a registration. If you move, you have to go register. Not like, not like in North America where you can go and do what you want. But in Germany and in Holland and I don't know where else you have to register. I hope you could see that. It was very short. You might want to go back and stop and start the video. Because some of those little, little cottages or little houses on the canal is very small. But it's like a city of, of little houses. I think that the house, the size is, um, how big is the lot? The the garden plot, Willem? I'm not sure. Right? What did she say? 15 meters? No. 15... And what is it, Willem? But you can build a rake. You can build a small house. Maybe... I don't know. 15 feet by 15 feet? 200 square meters there, whatever that is. It's about feet. Feet and meters are close. Well, I guess meters are six inches longer than a foot, than a yard, so in a while you get to have too many of them. Here go all the trucks with all the containers. Away they go. Do you know do you notice how little the the front of the trucks are? See the truck itself the part that carries it. It's just a little squat thing. It's not a big old honking thing like the trucks in North America. But their cargo is the same, right? They take a container truck. They do that in North America. Notice the trains. When you see a train, you see that they have these same thing as, well, those containers that are on trains. And then look at the trucks and see that they carry them too. They usually have those ridges on them to keep them from being crushed, you know, make the metal stronger. So today we're going to go to the market in Rotterdam. Are you excited? Yes. Now you just stay in my camera. I don't want you getting in my pocket or in my purse or something because you won't be able to see anything. You just have to stay in the camera and I will open your eyes as much as I can, okay? It's going to be fun. I have two cameras that you can be in. This is the blue Sony Handyman camera. Handycam, not Handyman. So you've seen all these, um, the barriers alongside the road and the little birds on them to keep people from bumping into them. And when it's, sometimes they're so dirty, they're very green. Now Luke was teaching me about algae. This is a different video, but I won't start over. Algae is in the air, and sometimes when when things dry up on the pond, it dries up and it powders, and it gets up into the air. And so that's why your water that's in a bucket turns green. It's because there's algae in the air, and when the rain falls through it, it picks up the the powdered algae, and then it grows in your bucket. I would like to do um, I'd like to do an experiment. Take tap water. Don't let any air touch the water. Just cover the well, there'll be air in the jar. But, um, if you run the tap water until the jar is full, it's now pushed out all the air. However, the water that was in there has the algae powder in it. So you have to run it and run it and run it and run it until you're just getting water from the well. You have to put the lid on, but maybe that's why if you do it in a if you pressure cook it, there's no algae in it, you know, it's pressure sends all the air out. Anyway, so here we have a traffic jam, and notice over the road, notice the numbers, this is the speed limit, 50 kilometers an hour, which is about 25 miles an hour. You can 
can generally you can generally cut the speed in half to find out the miles an hour. Half plus a little bit. That's the same with meters and yards. Or miles. I guess miles. Miles and kilometers. Okay, I don't know what else to tell you right now. It's because I'm looking at the traffic. So it is now quarter to ten. I have a watch. It's quarter to ten my time, but the camera is still on North America time, so it's 2 a.m. No, 4 a.m. It was so neat. I was up at 1.30 last night. I was online, and you were just starting to get all of the home videos. I had uploaded seven of them or something. By now I've uploaded 13. But when I, um, when you, I was reading the comments and you all started commenting and you were so excited to be here and it was so great. But it was 1.30 in the morning and I had to go to bed. I had already been in bed, but I couldn't sleep. That's because I was learning my numbers. Ain, ain, tway, dree, is it dree for three? Dri, ain twe dri, fear. Think of F E A R. Fear. Fear is four. Five is five. Says ses like a cesspool. Ses seven like S A Y V E N. Seven, but it's a Z E V or something. Z E V E N. Something like that. Z A V. I don't know what it is, but it's. Zaven Oct Nahen N A G E N N E G E N Nahen and Teen T Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oma thinks it's funny I'm teaching you Dutch. You don't have to learn it. But if you want to, this is your opportunity. Never let an opportunity slip by you. Okay, now let's say them together. Ain, ain, twe, twe, dree, dree, fear, fear, fife, fife, ses, ses, say then, say then, oct, negen, teen. Okay, you can practice that and you can stay up late at night learning that too. Okay, well, I guess I should stop talking and turn off this camera. It's more fun to talk to you than to just show you and it's probably more interesting to you. Centrum means center of town, like the town center. Centrum. I think they use that in Canada too. Is that French? Centrum? They use it. I've seen the word in, in Canada. Now bike paths here. Bike paths are quite a deal. You see this path beside us is not a path at all. It's a small road. It's big enough for mm, motorcycles. But anyway. Stork's, stork's nest. A stork's nest? Oh my goodness. 